Welcome to the Forward Focused Flashcast. If you're joining us for the first time, we're honored that you're here. If you're returning, welcome back. At Forward Focused, we have bite-sized episodes designed to help you become a better and more well-rounded leader with quick tips that you can implement right away. In today's episode, we're talking about the three most common causes of stress in life and in the workplace, and then solutions that you can implement right away to deal with that stress better. So let's dive right in. We've all had it, stress, right? And we're told that there's good stress and maybe not so good stress. And that's true, there is good stress. Um, When you think of something like fight or flight, right? That is a adrenaline reaction that our body goes through to save our life, to either fight in that situation or get out of there. But there's also the stress that just, it takes over. It overwhelms. And it puts you into a mode of paralysis. And that stress is not healthy. That stress is typically because there's coping mechanisms not in place to handle the stress and we go on overload. And there's three common types of stress that create that feeling. And so what I want to talk about today is what those stresses are and then how we can address them in a healthy and effective way, whether for yourself or for people that you manage or lead on a regular basis. The first and probably greatest cause of stress is worrying about things we can't control. I don't know about you, but I'm definitely guilty of this. Um, Waking up at two, three, four in the morning sometimes, thinking of all the things that I need to do thinking about how I came off in a certain meeting or what someone maybe thought about me. These are things out of my control, right? I'd need to show up every day and give my best effort. And what they think of me is what they think of me. Worrying about what the weather is going to do, worrying about, um, you know, that next sale or where where it might be coming from. Instead of just realizing that if you're putting forth your best, best effort on a consistent basis and you're focused on doing the right things every day, Stop worrying about the things outside of your control, right? So some solutions to deal with that, um, this is called the parking lot method. And a lot of our uh, the coaching clients that I'm working with right now, we've been talking a lot about the recession and the economy and is it a good time to buy or sell a home? Should I invest in this business? And at the end of the day, those are all worries that are out of our control. We can't control what the feds are going to do with rates. We can't control what the gross domestic product's going to be. We can't control what's happening in Russia and Ukraine, right? We just need to react in a healthy way. So the parking lot method is every day you write down all your concerns, all your worries, all your stresses, and then you ask yourself, is that in your control? If it's not, just draw a line through it. If it is, or there's something that you can do to address it, Write the solution next to it with a time frame of when you'll do it by. That simple exercise, it's amazing the amount of relief you'll feel from doing it because you're getting it from out here or here and out here into a piece of paper that you can visualize. And take it one step further. When you start seeing seven, eight, nine of those lines through what you just wrote down, you realize that you're just worrying about something that you can't control or change anyways. It's a very help, helpful and healthy tool. In addition to that, I recommend that you talk to a trusted advisor or coach. Show them that list. Say to them, am I on track with this? Am I m- missing something here? Is this out of my control or, or not? And by showing one other person that you trust, it becomes almost like an accountability partner and somebody that can say, listen, John, you're, you're in left field on this one. You can't control that. You wrote down a solution and I just don't see how you would do that. And you can talk that out with them. So that's the first thing. Worrying about things out of your control. Use that parking lot method to get it out of your mind and into action or out of your mind and thrown away. Number two, doing something we know that we should not be doing. Doing something we know that we should not be doing. There's a variety of things in this world that we shouldn't do. It's either bad for our health It keeps us away from growing our revenue or meeting our sales quota or running our team effectively. It keeps you from your one thing, right? The example I would give here is if you're golfing three to four days a week at different outings and scrambles in your golf league, and then you're also on a softball league, that's great for your social life, right? It's great for you to get exercise and be out doing that. 
But if it's at the jeopardy of time with your family, if it's uh, at the jeopardy of like the growth of your business and success of your, your enterprise, you'll start to feel stress and anxiety around that because you know in your gut, e- even subconsciously, that you're doing things that you shouldn't be doing. So you have to have balance on that. And the solution on this is you can just look at your calendar, right? Look at your week, look at your month, go back, look at the last month and ask yourself, did you spend an appropriate amount of time in key areas of your life, your family, your physical health, your social life, your finances, your business goals, your job? If one of those are out of whack, adjust your calendar for the next month to get it back into alignment because things get off track. And we, we all do things that we shouldn't be doing a little bit too much from time to time. Don't let that become a stressor for you that controls you. Do something about it. Make the adjustment in your future weeks and months on your calendar. Okay, and the third thing, and this kind of ties into the first two, right? This is not doing something we know we should be doing. So if we're worrying too much about things we can't control, and if we're doing things that we know we shouldn't be doing, The only other result then is we're not doing something we should be doing. That causes stress that can debilitate you. We avoid doing things we should be doing for a lot of reasons. It's either hard, it's difficult, you don't like it, it's not like in your natural wheelhouse, you don't enjoy doing the task. Remember, successful leaders, successful people do the things they must do, not always the things that they want to do. They do the things they must do not always the things that they want to do. So I encourage you to look at your emails, text messages, phone calls, and your calendar for the last few weeks. And do you see a pattern of you doing things or avoiding doing things during certain times? So for example, if you know that you need to make a certain number of contacts in your sales business between 9 a.m. and 10.30, every single day, Monday through Friday, and you're looking in your email and you notice that you respond to a lot of emails and you respond to a lot of texts and you make phone calls between nine and 10.30 that are not lead generation based and there's a pattern of multiple days where you're doing that, that means you're not doing what you should be doing, which is making lead generation calls and instead you're filling it with time and things that you should be doing else, elsewhere, right? You can do the emails at a different time. Do it before 9 a.m. Do it after 1030, but that could be proof in the pudding saying you're not doing the things you should be doing, which is lead generation in that example. So remember, building a successful business or team is hard enough. It comes with natural stresses, natural pressures to grow, right? And so please do your best to acknowledge these three common stresses, worrying about things out of your control, doing something that you know you shouldn't be doing, or not doing something that you should be doing. By avoiding these three common stresses and being able to acknowledge them and review them on a regular basis, this is critical for you to have success long-term as a business person or as a leader. If you found value in today's content, please be sure to subscribe so you never miss a lesson to be the leader that you deserve to be. And until next time, lead on. 